All right, so in this video, <clears throat> we're going to be doing uh, action reaction new course to avoid. Okay, so basically, it starts off here. You know, at time zero, we uh, from our radar, we got our range and bearings to four different targets. Okay, so uh, you know, we wrote that data down in these corners time zero, range, and bearing, and we plotted our R's. Okay, so there were four R's there. And then while we're waiting six minutes <clears throat> to get our M, we then plotted our E's. So we're going uh, uh, 335 at about 18 knots. So this ER is us. Okay, ER, ER, ER. And then after six minutes, we plot all our M's. So that's where those M's showed up. Okay, and then we got these, these, uh, these lines here, special cases, this ERM triangle, this ERM triangle. We identified target one <clears throat> as being the problem target. It's on our starboard bow, so we're the stand, we're the uh, burden vessel. And so the instructions were to do uh, when the vessel is uh, five miles, to um, uh, uh, we will alter our course when the vessel is an MX of five miles. We'll alter our course for the vessel to pass uh, 1.5 miles ahead. So I had to go ahead and draw in a one and a half mile circle because this is 12 mile scale and uh, that's two. So anyway, you get the idea. So now this is where we're at. So we've plotted everything as normal. The thing, we're, the, the thing that's going to happen though is that when that vessel gets to here, we are going to change course from ER to ER prime. So we're going to change our course. Um, and um, from ER to ER prime. So the question becomes, how will us changing our, how will our course change impact the relative motion lines of all these other vessels? Remember, at that time uh, that we come to this, at this MX of five, when we change our course, the relative motion line of target one is gonna change from a CPA of zero to hopefully a CPA of around one. We take an action, we're going to go from this to this, and we have this reaction. The question is, how are these other vessels going to react? All right, so that's a little bit more complicated. And so what we're going to have to do is create some new triangles. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to figure out when is MX, okay? Right now, we're getting, this is MX is five and a half miles, but we have to figure out when in time is it going to be. So this is our relative motion line for the first target, and we can figure that out by that's six minutes, okay? And that's 12 minutes. All right, so that's 24 minutes to here, okay? All right, so it looks to me that was 6, 12, that's 6, 12, 18. So it looks to me that that's gonna be about 15 minutes from now, okay? So, uh, 15 minutes after I uh, observed all my targets, I'm going to make that course change, okay? And that's because according to the relative motion of this line, that vessel should be about five and a half miles, okay, at, at minute 15, okay? So the question becomes, well, uh, if that vessel is, if, that, if this vessel target one is going to be here on its relative motion line in 15 minutes, where are all these other vessels going to be on their relative motion lines in 15 minutes? So that's what we got to figure out. That's the first step. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, well, okay, that R is times zero, M is times six. So that is six, 12, 18. So it looks to me like, like uh, M 15 is for target two is going to happen right about there. Okay. And I use the, I didn't use the relative motion line of target one for target two. I used the relative motion of target two. So now I'm going to figure that out for target three. So I got to find minute 15. So I come here and I get my six minutes. I get my 12 minutes and now I need half of that more or less. Okay. So it looks to me like M15 for this guy is going to be about right here. Okay. That's M15. All right. Uh, and I could also call that MX, but I'm going to give it 15 because, um, I'm going to use that. I'm going to, anyway. I'm going to call it M15, but you could. It, it's MX. The X though is 15 minutes. All right. Uh, so that's six. That's minute 12. That's minute 18. So minute 15 for this relative motion line should be about here. Okay. All right. Great. So now <clears throat> I am essentially going to make a new relative motion triangle 
for target two, for target three, and target four. Some stuff is going to be the same. Some stuff is going to be different. Up here, okay, up here. Let's look at this guy here. We had three legs of a triangle. They were RM, ER, and EM, okay? Then we, then we created a new triangle. That was the original triangle for this relative motion line. Then we created a new triangle that's going to make this relative motion line when we get to MX of 15. And that one is R prime M, E R prime, and E M, okay? So, uh, essentially what we're going to do is, is we are now going to make all new triangles for, for all these other targets, and we're going to use, what's going to, what are we going to do? We're going to bring our new course to here. So we, instead of us using ER, that's what we're doing this, okay, because we were doing uh, 335 at 18. We're now going to be doing, I didn't even figure it out, but um, it looks like it's, I don't know, that's it, uh, Figure that out. That's uh, going to be about 0, 017. We're going to be doing about 0, 017 at 18. That's going to be something over here. We're going to be doing ER prime. Okay. What's the other target going to be doing? Well, it's still going to be doing EM. This target is not going to change its course and speed because we're changing our course and speed. That's still going to be EM. Okay. So now, so what I'm going to do in order to do that is I'm going to take my ER prime from this triangle and I'm going to bring it down to this triangle, and I'm going to drop this E on top of that E, okay? And then I'll draw it towards R prime. So that's a lot of words, okay? It's probably confusing, but this is what you do. You take the ER prime from target one, okay? What you're going to come to, and you bring it to the other triangles. In this case, I'm going to bring it to E, all right? And so there's the distance, there's the direction there. And now I got to measure the distance. Okay, it should be 18 or so. Okay. All right. So this becomes R prime. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to do that for the other uh, targets as well. All right. So I didn't move my triangle, so I can do that. All right. I can bring this over here, and it goes E to E. Okay. All right. I take that triangle away. Great. Now I'm going to put this here, E R prime, E R prime, okay? All right, R prime, R prime. All right, now, <clears throat> what do I have going on here? I'm making a new triangle. This new triangle is going to be, well, I, they are not changing their course or speed, so this EM line is still valid. I am now, instead of doing this, I'm going to be doing that. So I brought that line down here. So I'm going to be doing ER prime. They're going to be doing EM prime. Well, I don't have a triangle until I get an R and an M. So I need an R and an M here. The question is, though, am I going to use R or am I going to use R prime? I'm going to use R prime. The new relative motion line will be R prime M. So that's actually right there. Okay. So in this case, nothing actually changed, okay? But <clears throat> when am I going to go from ER to ER prime? I'm going to do that at minute 15, okay? So what that means is that for this first 15 minutes, I'm going to be following this relative motion line, RM, and that gets me 15 minutes. But after I get to M15, I'm going to alter course, and now I'm going to have this relative motion line for that target. So the CPA for a target three, it's gonna be about right here. So it took 15 minutes to get to here. How long is it gonna to take to get from minute 15 to the CPA? Well, I'm gonna be slowing down. The relative motion of the other target is gonna be slowing down, interestingly enough. So I go like this, and I go like that. Six, 12, looks like that's about another 18 minutes. So it was 15 minutes to here, and now it's gonna be 18 minutes to there. So what is that? <clears throat> that's eight, that's 10, that's three, one. That looks like it'd be about 33 minutes. So the new time is CPA for target three. Uh, target three, the new time is CPA is gonna be about minute 33, okay? All right, um, and um, something about like around there. Now, <clears throat> um, 
and the CPA didn't change. So let's do this target. Okay, so this was a special case. But now, uh, the vessel is still going to be doing, I'm going to make my triangle now. I've got to do R prime M, all right? That's what I'm looking for. Uh, I've got uh, e, e prime R, that's us, and EM. That's a triangle I'm going to make. Well, they're not changing. That's still EM. I changed ER. That makes R prime M the new, direct, the new relative motion line, okay? So, when... I change course from ER to ER prime 15 minutes into this thing, this vessel is no longer going to follow this relative motion line. It's now going to follow this one. Okay? So, <clears throat> what am I going to do with that? Well, at minute 15, the relative motion line is going to change. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this relative motion line and I'm going to transfer it up to the point where I'm going to alter course. Okay. Oh my goodness. If I do that, look, I'm going to have a CPA of almost zero. That's like, I don't know, three tenths of a mile there or something like that. That's as good as zero. Okay. So the question is, when will that happen? Well, I'm going to alter course 15 minutes in. This is 15 minutes in. I was following the relative motion line here for the first 15 minutes, but after I, uh, when I alter course, the relative motion line is going to change. This is going to be the relative motion. This will be six minutes. So that's six. Well, that looks like six. That looks like another seven minutes or so. Okay. So that's 15 minutes plus seven minutes. All right. So this over here for target two, that should be about uh, 15 minutes plus seven minutes. That's about 22 minutes. So what's the new CPA? Well, the CPA was, I mean, that's like, I don't know, it's like a mile and a half or something like that. But my good, my goodness, now, I mean, that, that to me looks like it's going to be about 0 0.3 nautical miles. All right. And by the way, target, uh, get the CPA of this puppy here. Target 3 was about 1.7 nautical miles or so. Okay. Um, and now let's just do target 4. So. Uh, when I was going E to R, they, oh, this is, uh, oh, this looks to me like a dead in the water situation here. But anyway, um, at minute 15, that's down here, I'm going to go from ER to ER prime. That's going to affect the relative motion of this. So how is that going to be? Well, uh, I'm going to be doing ER prime. The other target's going to be doing EM. That means the relative motion line is going to be R prime M. So, oh, R prime M. So I just take that line, I bring it down to, uh, to M15, and that'll be the new relative motion line for that target, okay? And uh, where what's the CPA going to be? Well, the CPA is going to be exactly at minute 15, okay? So what's the distance to, uh, to that? We can get our new CPA there. The new CPA to me looks like about 2.4 miles or so for target four. Okay, and um, uh, when is that going to happen? Okay, well, um, R prime M, all right, so that's the speed of relative motion. That's that. So that was, uh, oh, well, that's going to happen in 15 minutes, actually. Okay, uh, the new time of CPA is 15 minutes. Now, you'll notice, I didn't fill in anything for action reaction down here because target one was the problem target, all right? So I already, already, if I do all this stuff and figure out this, okay? But this is the new, um, this is the new course that we should be steering, all right? And that should be about 018 or so. What did we say that was? Uh, yeah, about 019. So that's the new 019. And the new time is CPA for this, although I didn't figure it out. That was 15 minutes there. Here's R prime M for target one. So I can do that. And that's going to be 6, uh, 12. So that looks like, that looks to me like it's about another 15 minutes. So that should be about minute 30 here. Okay. All right. Um, and uh, that's how you do that.